Hi, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, bringing you another Law of Attraction metaphysical lesson. This video is on, what is my life purpose? Yes, what is my life purpose, Law of Attraction? You know, this is a question that plagues a lot of people. Many people want to know what their life purpose, and they go out there searching and searching and searching, trying to find the answer to it. They try a little bit of this, they try a little bit of that, and still, they do not know what their life purpose is. Well, I'm here today to help you along that path. I'm here today to help you find out what it is you were sent here to do and what is your life purpose. Now, I remind you guys, we all may not be an Oprah Winfrey, a uh, Tyler Perry, a uh, Jim Carrey. Listen, we may not be, but we are ourselves. And whatever anyone has, you can have it too. So what is your life purpose? Hey, maybe your life purpose is to raise your children and raise the best children that you can raise. And maybe one of those children might end up being the president. And that, and your life purpose was to prepare that person to be who that person is. Okay? So anybody's life purpose could be along any type of line. Okay? It doesn't have to be that you have to be the president. You have to write that book. You have to be that entertainer. It doesn't have to be. Your life purpose could just be being who you are. Making people happy. Changing, putting a smile on people's faces every single day. That could be your life purpose. Your, pur your life purpose may be to help out a poor animal or a poor child and start a daycare or be a foster parent and change a child's life. Whatever it is, or each and every one of us have a life purpose. But if you need a little help with deciding and finding out what is your life purpose, I'm here to help you today. So make sure you stay tuned. What is my life purpose? First thing I can tell you, only you can answer that question. Do not go and try to seek outside of you for that answer. Please don't, people. Please don't. You're not going to find that answer if you're seeking that answer from outside. No one can tell you who you are and what you are here to do but you. What is it that you like to do? That's my first question I ask people. What is it that you like to do? What is it that you're very good at? I mean, there's some people that are good at things and don't even have to practice. There's some people that are good at things. There are some people that takes that it takes half the time to learn how to do something. Or half, and when they do learn it, they learn it better than the people that have been practicing for the last 20 years. What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that just makes you want to get out there if it's bad or if it's good, but get that, that makes you want to do something? Something that you just have a passion about that you just have to make a difference, like hunger, animal cruelty, um, public housing, um, disabled people, you know, um, helping foreigners. What is it that you're passionate about? If you have an answer to any of these, write them out. What is it that you're able to do? And it doesn't matter if it's two, three, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. It doesn't matter if it's a beautiful day like this and you're out doing what you love to do. What is it that is not a sacrifice for you because you just love doing it? What is it that you would do if you were retired and you were 90 years old, what is it that you will still do? What is it? Hint, hint, that's what you came here to do. It might be one thing, it might be two things, but whatever it is, is mixed in with your passion and your talents. You have to take what God gave you. God will give you something. God gave you something that you came here to this earth and you were good at. There's a story about God giving some people um, some, some money. And one had a little, one had um, a little more than the other one, and the other one had more, okay, had the most. Because the one that had a little, he didn't have as much as the other two, he took his and buried it to save it. 
The other ones took what they had and they went out and they made more. They gave out, they did whatever they needed to do with what they had and they just used it. When God came back and said, what did you do with what I gave you? The person that gave theirs out, they got more. The person that buried what was given to them, it was taken away. God gave you something to use here while you're having this earthly experience. It's up to you to use it or God would take it away. So what are you burying in your life? What is it that you're good at that you just put down in the ground and you bury? What is it that you were blessed with that you're not using? That is what you came here to do. People, don't let it be that you leave this earth and you find out that what God gave you, you could have used and, and been the happiest person while you were down here. First of all, you're doing something that you love to do. Most likely, it's something that's gonna help someone else or self help someone or help some situation. Whatever it is God gave you, God gave that for you to come here and to live abundantly. Do you play ball well? Do you write well? Do you babysit well? Do you take care of kids well? Do you do hair well? What is it you love to do? Do you do tattoos? Whatever it is, you have a talent and you have a passion about whatever it is and then that's what you use to take and create your life. What is my life purpose? Only you can answer that. Have you ever been around and someone says, oh my God, you are so good at this. Oh my God. Keep that in the back of your head. Keep that there. And someone else comes to you and say, oh my God, you're really good at this. Did you have fun doing it? Is this something that you just love to do? Now you're doing it for free. And then people are telling you, oh my God, you're so good at this. Why don't you make it your business? Why don't you make it your career? You can start slowly after work on the side, um, dipping and dabbing in what you love to do and create it to the point that you no longer need your full-time job. Or maybe you might make your full-time job your part-time job and make your passion your full-time job. These are things that I tell people, God has given you, me, and everyone else something that we are talented doing. You need to learn it, take it, master it, go back to school, pick up, learn more about it, and let it fly. Let it take you to the heights that you're trying to make. Let it take you somewhere where you always wanted to be. Let it be that career that gets you that house, gets you that car. But let me just tell you this. If that's something you really, truly want to do, you're not gonna mind going to school. You're not gonna mind, you're not gonna mind um, going to school, getting more education. You're not gonna mind keep building up on whatever it is you're doing because that's gonna be something you're passionate about. Listen, when I'm doing something that I really love, I don't care if I have to fly to California to a class. I will do it because that's what I wanna do. That's when you know you're passionate and you have a talent, you're passionate about something. And if you do it very well, that's your talent. Now listen people, you might have a passion, learn about it, and then become very talented with it. So listen, what is my life purpose? Only you can determine that. Only you, don't let ever any outside source tell you who you are and what you came here to do. So whatever it is you wanna do, don't waste no time. Get out there, learn more, and, and, and go take action, people. You know my word, take some action and get it, and just go get what you want. Okay, so this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always bringing you the most updated law of attraction, metaphysical knowledge that's out there. And it comes from my heart, it's from the girl next door. I bring it to you so that you can understand it. If you like this video, please like it, please subscribe, Listen, it keeps me going, people. At the same time, follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com. Buy some crystals, some jewelry, or some metaphysical products at store.myworldofmetaphysics.com. Again, this is Yvette. Peace be to you. Blessings. Namaste.